Hi, Stefano Malaya, San Diego criminal defense lawyer and partner at the law office of David P. Shapiro, where we help good people regain control of their future when charged with a crime. Possession of a controlled substance charge can be scary and frustrating. A lot of times, cops make assumptions about someone and their addiction and conclude that the drugs were being possessed for sales. There are a number of health and, health and safety code sections that apply, including HS 11351, 11351.5, 11378, and 11378.5, among others. For a possession for sale charge, the prosecution would have to prove that one, someone possessed a controlled substance, two, the person knew that they had it and that it was some kind of controlled substance, and three, that while possessing the drugs, intended to eventually sell it. A couple of factors here that you can only learn from handling these types of cases. Most of the time, the issue in these cases is whether the possession was for sale. They try to prove it was for sale by looking for any indication, such as text messages, and, and please see the video on searches and consent issues. Or in the old days, they'd call it pay-o sheets, so literally an accounting ledger of who owes what to who. They also look at packaging, such as baggies, and scales. The baggies are a bit trickier, but as far as scales, the cops want to ignore that simple straight users will measure their drugs so they don't overdose or so they don't get cheated during a buy. Most of the time, the cops or prosecution will look at the amount of the drugs, and if it's more than their experts think is normal for personal use, then they will say it must have been for sale. Obviously, these people don't know the person's daily use, history, tolerance, etc. And apparently, although they understand wholesale concept, thanks to some stores who sell a bigger amount of product at a discounted price, they resist the idea as it relates to drugs. That's when the defense work really comes into play. So that's an overview of possession for sale of a controlled substance. Hope that was helpful. Any questions, give me a call. Stefano Malaya, San Diego criminal defense lawyer, 619 295 3555.